Two years ago, we had the strongest southern border in American history. Two years ago. Seems like a long time ago, doesn't it? When you see what's happened to our country, because our country's going to hell. Now it's the worst border in, in my opinion, the history of the world. No third world country would ever allow to happen to them what we've allowed. They would use sticks and stones. They wouldn't allow millions of people that they don't know anything about to enter their country and to take over their country. It's an invasion. Biden, Pelosi, and the radical Democrats spend all of their time obsessing over the borders of distant foreign nations. Americans deserve a Congress and a president who will protect the borders of our country, of our country. It's called America First, America First. Thank you. This year, more Americans will die of fentanyl and drug overdose than the number of Ukrainians killed in a gruesome and bloody war that should have never happened, would have never happened. Yet Biden and the radical Democrats do nothing to stop the lethal poisons pouring across our borders. They do nothing. They do nothing. They're coming in, and they're not coming in at 2 million, 3 million. It's 10 million. It's probably more than that. You're talking about numbers that nobody's ever seen before. Since the end of the Trump administration, the drug cartels have seen their revenue skyrocket by an astounding 2,500%. That's not bad, Uncle Sam, right? Look at Uncle Sam stand up. Look at him. He's a handsome gentleman. Yeah. 2,500%. Can you believe it? The choice? For this election is very simple. Democrats will defund the police. Republicans will defund the cartels. We're going to defund the cartel. You have no choice. Under my leadership and with the help of Marco and some other great people, including all of the Congress people here, we waged war on the cartels like they've never seen. And we did a big job and we were really knocking it out. We ended catch and release. We stopped asylum fraud. We built hundreds of miles of border wall, hundreds of miles. And despite two and a half years of Democrat lawsuits, they sued us. They kept suing us. I think it were 11 lawsuits. We won them all after two and a half years, delayed us for two and a half years. They fought us on every single thing you could. I guess they really want, these people are crazy. They want open borders. We completely finished our original border wall plan. Then we added much more wall when we looked at certain areas that were loose. And we almost got that finished. Three more weeks. And it would have taken three more weeks to finish it. They could have done it in three weeks. It was all set to go. The wall was sitting there ready to be installed. And they didn't want to do it. That's when I said, you know, I think they really believe in open borders. In fact, they took that wall. <laughs> They took those big and expensive wall planks and they moved them to another location so that Arizona, Texas, and other places couldn't just put them up. It would have taken minutes. But that's when I realized these people are, they're sick. They're sick.